Throughout my life, I've never been a fan of the idea of there being a God. I thought it was a human construct that people needed to cling to to get by in life. I went through a long phase of going down the New Age route, where I believe in psychics and mediums, and afterwards what I understood to be the occult. Even though at the time my dad wasn't a Christian, I do remember him warning me about doing such things and telling me how I don't know what I'm messing with, or even worth selling my soul to. But as I didn't believe in the devil and things of that nature, what harm could it do? I didn't understand the seriousness of it all and pretty much treated it like a bit of fun. It astonished me how naive and arrogant I was to think it was a good idea to mess with things like that. I'm so glad I didn't take it further than a bit of reading. Fast forward a number of years when I was in my early to mid thirties and I still didn't believe in God or the devil. This all started to change when I was on YouTube just browsing around. I came across a video of what seemed to be high profile people secretly recording and performing strange worships and, and rituals of the devil. I remember thinking, hang on, why are these people performing rituals like this to the devil? Something that doesn't exist. What do they know that I don't know? I think this piqued my interest and made me feel like I needed to know more. Strangely, my dad wasn't a Christian either, but roughly at the same time, we were led down the same sort of path. My dad had been to a seminar led by a guy who was talking about eating well for cancer treatment and the guy called Philip Day had released three books called Origin One, The Greatest Scientific Discovery, Number Two, The Holy War, and Number Three, The Predicament, A Man. The first one had the aim of trying to prove God's existence through proofs and rational thinking. The second and third books delved more into the contents of the Bible. I had no problem believing in God after reading the first book. It presented it to me in such a way that I found it hard not to believe in the existence of God or Yahweh. The books were all based on the Old Testament and the teachings thereof. There came my problem, my sins. I would say at the time I was around about at the 14 to 15 year mark of smoking more excessive amounts of cannabis. At that time I enjoyed it and, was, and it was deeply embedded into my day to day life. Doing it so much had an effect on me as a person and also on the relationships I had with friends and girlfriends. I do remember feeling extremely fearful that my sins would lead me to eternal death. I spent years eagerly studying Bible teachings on YouTube, which included teachings on Jesus and his forgiveness. I still remember to this day the relief I felt knowing I could go to heaven and my sins be forgiven. But somehow everything got screwed up in my head. I took God's grace totally for granted, so I kept smoking. Something didn't sit right with me, and I guess you could call it conviction. People would say, you're not sinning, you're not hurting anyone. But I just couldn't believe that. Something was telling me that what I was doing was not good and I needed to stop it. One day I came across a video that made me really think about my actions and it scared me again. It scared me to the point where I thought I really need to stop this and give my life to Jesus, no excuses. At this time I knew of God's love uh, through head knowledge but didn't really understand it in my heart. I lived in fear for, about everything. Anyway, I chose a time and a place to stop smoking and I haven't touched it since. Not long after that, I knew I needed to find a church to attend and, and I looked around and found Bentley Baptist Church. I attended my first service and was so warmly welcomed. The teaching was great and I knew it was a place for me, but I still lived in fear of, for other reasons. I spoke to David about it once and he quoted, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, which has always stuck with me. It made me feel like although I didn't really feel love for God, I was on the right track. He kept saying to me, you need to learn to fall in love with God. He has been very good at guiding me through tough times, which I'm very thankful for. Dave Miller has also been a great help to me. He spent time with me at the early stages and he knew my worries I had about losing my salvation because of various sins in my life. He spent a couple of hours talking to me and told me to keep reading Romans 8. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Keep reading it and reading it, he would say. I'm so thankful I went to see him that day. He really did help me feel secure. Jesus has been with me all the time. He's made me feel, he has made everything possible. I didn't see it early on, but I can see it now. Since I repented and turned towards him, he has made big changes in my life. Addictions in my life were nowhere near as bad as some, but they still had hold of me. Jesus has taken them all from me. I don't do or feel a desire to do any of those things anymore. He has put me into a job that is the same as what I enjoy doing as a hobby 
and better still, the majority of people working there are Christians. On the rare occasions in my past when I did go to church, I hated singing songs. When I came to Bentley Baptist Church, I thought, wow, these people sing a lot of songs. And I wasn't sure how I felt about that. But now I sing and worship God and I love every second of it. Jesus has shown me how Jesus has shown my heart how to love him through all that he has done for me. Jesus has blessed me, transformed my life in so many ways for the infinitely better. And I never look back to my old life and think, I wish I was there again. So I dedicate my baptism to Jesus for loving me, no matter where my heart is at or what I had done, for sticking by me and always persevering through all of the times you're at the very bottom of my list. Also, thank you to everyone at Bentley Baptist Church for, their, for all they are and all that they do. Thank you. I raise you up and praise you, Jesus.